Ah, uh, yes. Doing something a little bit different this week. We are not able to get to Chrono Trigger again, unfortunately. By the time we got all the equipment back up and running, we just did not have the time. No, there's no time for that. So, uh, for those of you who are not familiar with this, this is a essentially almost like a tribute to the entire series. It's a very, very well done fan remake that essentially combines elements from different Streets of Rage games into it, and one that I'm super jealous of. I really wish there was something like this for Final Fight. There are different fan-made Final Fight takeoffs out there, but nothing with this level of detail to it. You can make your own levels for it. It's a whole thing. It's pretty neat. And there's all sorts of other stuff. There's like additional modes. It's like a volleyball thing, I think, and I don't even remember what else. You know, It says at the bottom there, boss rush, survival, stuff like that. You can edit color palettes and all that jazz. You can make your own levels. There's this whole shop. Where you can unlock extra characters, including some of the bad guys. There's cheats, including a couple that we'll talk about in the game. It's just a whole thing. It's a really, really well done game. So, we're going to jump into it. We're going to bring a CPU friend just to keep things exciting on the screen. And we're just going to have them be balanced, because we're not crazy. Um, typically, I play Rudra. I don't know. I, everybody has their strengths, obviously. They're all from different games. We just unlocked Rue recently. I haven't actually played this in yet. And there's Shiva, if you just want to be especially broken. But, uh... <laughs> I'll stick with what I've got, and if I end up dying, then we'll continue with somebody else. I'm always amused by Zan. I don't know if he's the best or the worst character, but he's somewhere in between. Let's bring along Axel for classic time today. <laughs> and you notice that the uh, opening was a little corny, but that's sort of to be expected with the beat-em-up genre. The Streets of Rage name was dropped in a uh, awkward way. I also enjoyed the giant hands in the sky. It's like, whoa, ominous and evil. Alright, so we know Mr. X is behind this. Damn Mr. X, always a source of problems. He's bribed everybody. He doesn't even care. The stadium, huh? <laughs> Skate. Skate might be the worst, but it's fine. It's fine. Alright, so there's a couple different routes we can choose here. We got this one, where everybody's going a little bit nuts. Skate's actually kicking a guy in the face somehow. Pretty good. We got this one, which is a bloody knife and a cop car. And we have this one where uh, we're all kind of just dancing around. One guy's getting kicked, but that's it. I'm intrigued by blood knife. So we're going to go there. So there's a very detailed move list for this. You've got different throws, you've got different combos, you can interrupt combos with different moves, you have dash moves. Pretty good. The computer generally kind of spaces these out from what little I've played as a computer player. So they're willing to let you pick up most of the stuff and then they just kind of take their share a little bit. Now I have, well actually both of us have, me and Axel both have three stars underneath our health bars. And those give us fancier moves. Like, this run move is not normally this dash punch with sparkling energy and an uppercut at the end. But because we are powerful right now, that's the case. And I walked into an explosion. <laughs> Doesn't always stay that way, but for the time being, we're going to take advantage of it. If we die, we lose a star. So we're trying not to die for a number of reasons. All sorts of different butts in this game, too. So we have, like... We have just the button that does the combo ender. We don't have to have to build to it. We have a button that does the backwards attack, just on its own. You don't have to worry about directional inputs. And you can do all sorts of stuff. You got double tap up and down to change the planes, essentially. And there's not just all one area, but it's kind of a similar effect. You got running, you got dashes, you got different jump attacks. If you just hit attack or if you hold down, it's a whole thing. call on the police and they have rocket launchers to deal with flaming barrels because that's just what happens on the streets of rage. Break the back plane? They got it. 
They tricked me. So we have all sorts of fun moves with Rudra. Rudra, I'm not sure what it is. We got fun head scissors. She has a great looking kind of like when they see the drop. We also have special attacks. I'm trying not to use a ton of, but for shurikens I'm throwing out. They're pretty effective. There's the Azuna drop. Oh, it's not really spinning like an Azuna drop would be, but the point is still there. Bin. <laughs> Got ourselves a broken bottle here, ladies and gentlemen. Nice thing too. You have a lot of free form ability within your combos. You can do like attack, attack, toss the ender in early, but you know, still build a couple of light hits. You can do attack, attack, and put a dash attack in the middle of it. Very flexible, fun combo system. Because you know, a lot of the problem with the earlier beat em up games was they just didn't have a whole lot of moves, so they were fun, but they just felt like they were missing something. But now, not a problem anymore. The frame rate's impeccable. I was a Final Fight guy, I wasn't a Streets of Rage guy, but that's one of Axel's specials, by the way, is that tremendous combo. Uh, I was a Final Fight kid, so I played all of those growing up. Played Final Fight in the arcade and got my ass kicked by it. Played Final Fight 2 the most of anything. Me and my dad played that a ton. Even Life 3, despite the fact that if you tried to play with two people, as we saw in an earlier playthrough on this channel, the game just falls apart. <laughs> He just cannot and will not handle it. Well, I play Streets of Rage. And just as a fan of the genre in general, I appreciate a lot of stuff that's going on here. It is phenomenal. Branching path, new weapons, new items, all sorts of characters they put in. It's impressive stuff. I thought we were done here, so I was eating that apple for the points. Now I feel bad because I took Axel's food. I didn't know. I actually don't even remember all the moves in this game. That's the fun part about it. I have a special and all screen hitting move that I haven't used yet. I'm saving for, you know, those tight spots. I think you get like one per stage, essentially. It's whatever that bar there is. Pull up and okay. See? <laughs> punch, punch, approach, punch, punch, continue into a grapple, two hits, and head scissors. I mean, that's just good stuff. That just feels good. You probably know by now, we can also chuck weapons. Like so. <laughs> Classic remakes. Good music. I think I just ate a barbecue by mistake. I didn't know. Dash attacks are go-to, especially in boss fights. It's got good range to it, it's a lot, it does good damage. Just like in all beat em ups, you don't want to be around the boss when he stands up, that's a mistake every time. They always are at least invincible, if not with an invincible wake-up move that you can get hit by. Dodge sure Alright, that's your life points. No drive kill. More kind of crowd control in between. Yeah, that attack from Axel, that plenty of difference that he did, also not normally that strong, but because he's got three stars, it beefs up his move. Oh. We'll take the kill. Do -do 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 -do. 
Doop, doop, doop.